All right, so today I'm going to do this video, which is explaining really why the job market in cybersecurity is having problems. Is there other reasons? Well, there is some other reasons, but we're going to really focus on the AI as well. I'm going to give some statistics and I'm going to go over some key points based upon experience as well as based upon stats. Okay, and also, Try to watch till the end of the video because we have a special friend, a special best friend to reveal to you today. Before we get into that, I am going to grab some coffee. No, Starbucks is not a sponsor. I wish. We're going to do it the quickie way. Add this and I'm going to go out. There is the video editor and he is 12 years old and... One of the reasons I'm doing videos is because he wants to edit them and then he can learn how to do editing. And he also designed that website, which is called... Learn to hack and code. Excellent. Okay, let's get to the real part of the video. All right, so let's go over the roles that are down in cybersecurity. We have security engineers and security analysts. So my last W-2 role was a senior cybersecurity engineer. All right, now that was at CompTIA, and there was very specific duties that were laid out for that specific role. Now, when I check cybersecurity senior engineer now, which was very specific, it was application security, I'm seeing everything that you can ever imagine, and they're just pulling from other roles to get that one individual to fill that role, which is very interesting. So let's get to the stats. Big drops here, 25, 30%. Really, it's going to depend where you're reading. That's between 22 and 2024. And why is this? You have AI automation tooling, placing a lot of these tasks. Now we're going to get to the entry level analyst, the triage roles, way fewer postings, entry level alert triage under pressure. Now, because we have the AI tools, we're seeing the basic monitoring, we're seeing alert handling, first pass of vulnerability scanning. That can be done now through AI or filtered before human involvement. So again, big changes there. Now, when you look at the routine monitoring, the vulnerability uh, scanning in general, these tasks are standard, predictable, or repetitive they're being pushed down or replaced by automation as well. The roles that are down, the roles that are up. Now we're going to go to the roles that are up. Cybersecurity privacy attorneys up. You got lawsuits up the wazoo. You have companies that really need to meet their deadlines and they have to do it or they're going to be fined. Now let's go inside. It is raining. Okay, so that's up 40% depending upon where you're searching on the web. You have Red Team, and I've been reading some reports that Red Team is up 20% for 2025, but I'll just tell you about 2022 to 2024. Those are more clear as far as stats, and those dropped, but they kind of tapered off. Why? Companies really can't cut on red team they really can't cut on certain areas at least not now until ai really has proven itself to basically take away those jobs secure software development and product security are now priorities hence product security so overall appsec kind of has tapered off we haven't really seen much of a downturn in that so here's kind of interesting GRC, we're seeing a rising demand. Now, GRC, one would think, okay, boring position. Maybe they'll cut it. Maybe they won't. Who knows? We're seeing a rising demand in that. Now, different reports say different things. I was reading in one report, it's up 15%. Some of them just say that there's a rising demand, whatever. I'm going to say I have seen a rising demand, but even though there's more jobs, there's a lot more applicants because you have a lot of these people, a lot of these applicants moving over from other sectors. And now we have to go inside, it seems, because there is a lot of rain out here. So let's move it inside. So what's interesting is we've seen GRC roles increasing a little bit. Now the cloud security engineers, 
this is a sector that has been promoted as the next best greatest thing and absolutely there's demand but guess what you've seen in 2025 a decrease of 25 30 percent again it's going to depend where you are going to get your information from but overall absolutely there has been stagnation there if anything the sectors, the trends, which industries are up, which are down. So the regulated industries, banking, healthcare, they are up. Why? Just go and look at the job ads. If you're going to see the direct hires, there's been a lot of banks that have been emailing me, sending me messages in LinkedIn. They need GRC people. Why? There is a lot of different implementations that have to be that have to come into place. There's also a law expiring September 30th, and that may alter some of the posture internally for some uh, financial institutions and even some healthcare organizations. So in general, I think we get the idea. You still have small business demand, but again, small businesses for the most part do not hire cybersecurity people. In fact, usually they are outsourcing to, let's say, an MSSP. So I hope this helped to kind of give you some sort of an idea of where cybersecurity is experienced in the decline. And in general, overall, it's not even just cybersecurity, it's tech in general. AI. Have a good one. If you got something out of this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so we're going to reveal Ruby. She is the official Learn to Hack and Code mascot. And she's eating raw chicken cutlet here. So hopefully my wife doesn't watch this video, but if she does, so be it. All right, take care, everybody.